I like having nice tools, but I don't like paying a lot of money, kind of cheap. So I've been looking for high quality tools at a reasonable price. I've got some tools in here today that I think are going to be fantastic. So let's get these boxes open and see if these are actually some good quality tools or not. As you can see, I've got dog holes in my workbench here. And so I've got several different dog hole clamps. I started out with uh, some, you know, okay ones and I've been slowly upgrading. So I'm always on the lookout for another high quality, but that doesn't break the bank. And these here look like they might be right there in that, you know, high quality at a reasonable price. So let's take a close look at these and see what we have. So I don't remember the price on these, but I remember that they were a very reasonable price. I'll put the, it up on the screen here. Now this is a solid one piece piece of aluminum here. So I uh, got a nice finish on it. Got a little knurling. Um, you drop it in a hole. The um, arm here is a nice um, lightweight aluminum, but yet it feels good and solid. They screw nice and easy. Um, you know, they can drop down and then you tighten them up here to get your macro adjustment. And then, you know, once you get it down into place, you just screw it in and then that locks, it kicks it back. And then that's not going anywhere. That's super tight. Um, very first impressions of these, I say that's definitely locks in tight. It's a very good fit. You know, uh, I believe they do have these in 20 millimeters. Now, I put wax in my holes, so that's what's on there. But uh, one thing I did notice is that they have the uh, label here put on backwards. This in, and both of them are the same way. Uh, they have both of them on upside down. But other than that, this is red iodized aluminum. Now, with the uh, screw here, I would have liked to have seen this being like a, a, a round taper on the end of the screw because that's just being a regular threaded. Just in a couple of times that I've tried it here when it's gone in, it's definitely um, messing up the uh, red iodized. So, you know, they're gonna be nicked up and scratched up so they won't be looking perfect, but they're gonna work func you know, function perfect, which is the most important thing. However, you would hope that they would have stayed looking nice for a long time. But definitely they work good. And the price compared to what a lot of the other types of clamps like this cost is a very good price. Well, that was pretty good, but it's just a clamp. So let's get into something a little bit more complicated. And hopefully we get another great tool. So what this is, is a splining jig. So if you're making wooden boxes and want to do a nice colorful splines on the edges or what I'm going to be doing is making some frames with some uh, laser cut uh, medallas or whatever you want to call them in there. I think this is going to work great for it. So let me go ahead and get this thing put together and we will see how well it is. So you can see right here that whenever I kind of push down a little gap coming under that front corner, it's not a very big gap, but this does not sit perfectly smooth, uh, which is what I would have liked to have seen. However, you know, I'm sure the woodpecker one, which is almost $200, would sit perfectly flat, but for a hundred dollars cheaper, uh, this one will work perfectly good because realistically, once you put it on your table saw, and you clamp in your piece of wood, your frame, you know, that little 30 seconds of an inch or less, you know, over a foot really is not going to make any noticeable difference in the um, quality of your cuts or in the uh, size of the cut. So uh, as I uh, push this through, flipped it over on each side, um, I would have wished that they would have had uh, stops on both channels. Now these are the tools that I have been really waiting to get to. If you watch me, I'm sure you know who Katz Moses is. 
And now when he was wanting to build some tools, some high quality tools, he went to his company, Hongdui or whatever, and had them precision machine these tools for him. Now, he sells them on his website, but then they also sell them on Banggood. Now, this is the hammer I used to use, or uh, I've been using. So, um, this is like one pound, uh, 0.2 ounces. And, um, you know, this works, but this being, I mean, it just feels so good in the hand. Let's see how much this thing weighs. So this is one pound, five ounces. So this thing weighs five ounces more. So that's 16 and 21. So about 25% heavier than this big hammer. And now this is uh, Bacati and uh, Cherry. Um, yeah, pretty sure that's what that is. So, I mean, it's not necessarily a light wood, but I mean, it just feels really good you know, and then having a nice precision tool like that, it just makes you want to do better work. It's hard to get on camera just how, you know, this such a small hammer, but you got, because you're real close together. So your hands, you know, like a lot of people that aren't good with an ax, you'll see them choke up on it close and hold it by, you know, the hammer handle shorter because that makes it you know, easier to get control. And this thing here being so small, but yet, man, it's, it's just a beautiful tool. Really makes you want to um, do good quality work. But I mean, I'm not really hitting that hard, but I mean, this thing, that's almost a quarter inch. That thing just put that chisel in there with one little hit. So you can, you know, give it a good smack or you can, you know, easy tap it in so definitely i think this is going to improve my chiseling and you know not only will it make it uh easier to be more controlled but it's just a beautiful um i, I would have never really thought i would have been that impressed with a little hammer but yeah it's definitely a um well built well thought out uh tool there now this is the tool i've been waiting for when I was putting the track in on my table saw over there, I really wished I had one of these. And this is a router plane. I haven't opened this yet, but I knew every tool I have gotten from Hongdu has just been absolutely fabulous. So I have high uh, hopes for this tool. And then it also being that it was a collaboration with um, Katz Moses, and I know how he is with his tools. So, I mean, right off the bat, you can just see how precision ground this is. Now they've got some of these little uh, router planes uh, for 10 or $20, but um, you know, sometimes if that's all you can afford, that's fantastic. But um, if you can afford it, you know, it is really nice sometimes just to get that extra little nice tool. All right. So it's taken me just a second to kind of figure this out. But now that I got it, you know, look at that. That's... As you can tell, I'm not a major hand tool guy. Never have been much with a plane, but even with this plane here, I'm actually, you know, getting amazing uh, results. And I definitely uh, can see once I get get the hang of this thing that this having a good quality tool to start with. Is going to up my uh, planing game. Well, today I don't think I have any duds. Now, these little clamps, i uh, been using them a little bit. The pads are great. The only thing is, is that the little knurled knobs have just a square end on them, like a regular screw bolt head thread. Uh, if that would have been rounded off to where it fit inside the groove a little bit better, 
I could have given these a four and a half, maybe even a five, probably four and a half, uh, just because the little knob uh, is not rounded. I would give these a uh, three. This uh, jig here, it works. It is about $100 cheaper than what the Woodpeckers is, but at the same time, I have in a little bit of a trouble getting it to be perfectly square on the table. I've took it apart three or four times. Um, I wished it would have had a, a two clamps here instead of just one. So this one, it works. And it's probably one of the, now this is a nice jig, so don't get me wrong. It's not like this is a piece of junk. It's a nice jig, but you know, when you're getting up into this type of uh, jig, this type of uh, tool, for me, I'm really looking for precision. So I would have to give this about a two and a half, three stars, just because it only has the one clamp and it did not come with any instructions. And I think that one of my little bars here is warped or something because I got on a cast iron tabletop over there on the table saw and just could not get that to square up. However, these little tools here for a hammer, I don't know of how you could get a better little hammer. Now it is for a specific task. It does have the Teflon replacement heads if you want to, you know, really need to get something delicate. But with these, uh, these uh, caps on here, I don't think that it could be any more precision. This is the highest quality manufacturing it could be. Um, so I'm going to give that a four and a half. Now, this little thing here, I want to get more into doing uh, hand planing. And I have tried planing before and I never was very good at it. But I think that's always because I had a cheap plane. Now, I was needing a router plane and I almost bought one of the $20 ones. But I'm like, you know what, then I'm going to have the same issue I've always had with planes. It just isn't going to work. So I've got this one. I don't think there's a better one on the market than this. I mean, for a person who is not, have never used a router plane before, and it took me about five minutes to kind of figure out what I was doing. And then, I mean, every single um, stroke, you know, I, it was like when I would pull it back, the, um, you know, uh, wood was just in a straight strip. And then once I let go, it would come up. Also, I didn't know it, but they've got the uh, KM1, um, which is, I guess, the Cat Moses original uh, marking knife um, with a replaceable blade. So this is a uh, bonus that I didn't even know was in the pack. When I was taking out the, you know, it's got the little Allen wrenches and stuff for the adjustment. This was in the pack here, so that's a nice surprise. Definitely, this has to be a five. Um, I don't know what else I could say on this one here. Um, absolutely fantastic tool. I'm going to put some links down in the descriptions. Um, if you want, go check them out. I certainly appreciate all the feedback people give me. Unfortunately, these I'm going to be keeping, so I won't be uh, giving any of these away, but um, be sure and subscribe to the channel because whenever these companies do send me tools sometimes, if I've already got the tool, I don't need a bunch of them, and I hate dealing with uh, Facebook trying to sell stuff on the marketplace, so I would much rather just go down there and pick a subscriber and you know send the tools to you. So if you are subscribed and you get a, a comment that says email me, you know, that's probably just me asking you for your address, but if it is me, it's going to be to my Shop Ramblings email, and I'll never ask you for a penny uh, to give you anything. You know, you shouldn't cost you nothing to get a, uh, somebody to send you something. So that's the way I feel about it, and that's the way you know, it should be. So you'll never get anybody from my channel asking you for anything. So until next time, I hope everybody has a wonderful afternoon.